vignettes, picture postcards, memories. For 75 years, since 1947, sport has done exactly that. Deliver joy to the nation. If I go down memory lane and relive some of these moments, all that I see is unrivaled joy. Be it cricket, be it hockey, be it football, be it Olympic and Paralympic sport. And that's what our partner DTDC also stands for, delivering joy to the country. And that's what we celebrate here on the occasion of the 75th anniversary of Indian independence. This is not a structured celebration. No celebration can be structured. Can we ever say how an athlete will react after he takes a five wicket haul? Or a batsman scores a hundred? Or a tennis player hits a winning shot? Or a Neera Chopra throws a javelin for 90 meters? We can't. It is impromptu, passionate and a celebration that is then framed eternally for memory. And that is what we talk about when we talk about the 1948 hockey win. An India that was just a year old beating Britain in Britain to win the hockey gold. We did it again in 1952 and 1956. We lost to Pakistan in 60 but regained the gold with Charanjit Singh's men in Tokyo in 1964. Thereafter, Vasudevan Bhaskaran's team won it back in Moscow in 1980. And Manpreet, Shrijesh, Rupindapal and the likes did wonders in Tokyo to get that medal after 41 long years. Oftentimes we don't win, but we win respect and that's what Rani Rampal's team did in Tokyo. Over the years, there have been athletes who have delivered us incredible joy. In tennis, whether it is Ramesh and his father Ramanathan Krishnan, whether it is Vijay Amritraj, whether it is Leander Pace, Mahesh Bhupati or more recently Sanya Mirza, Rohan Bopanna, whether it is in Javelin with Neera Chopra more recently becoming the poster boy of the country, in wrestling with Sushil Kumar, Ravi Dahiya, Bajrang Punia and the likes, in boxing, with Vijender Singh, Lavlina Borghoen, Amit Fangal and a lot of these boxers who have done brilliantly well at the Asian and the international stage. Our football teams from the 1950s for example that made the Olympic semi-final in Melbourne that Neville D'Souza hat trick. In cricket 1983 that changed things forever. Kapil's Devils. Then Mahendra Singh Dhoni's team in 2011. Sachin Tendulkar, even the arrival of Tendulkar gave us joy. More recently, Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma. And of course, the Rishabh Pant of today. Sport is the opiate of the masses. It is positive energy. It is a tale of aspiration. Be it a Duti Chand or a Mithali Raj or a Jhulan Goswami or a Manika Batra or a Lavlina Borghoen or a Meera Bhai Chanu. P.V. Sindhu, it is all about aspiration and fulfillment of joy. And that is what we celebrate on the occasion of the 75th anniversary of India's independence. This is a tribute through the prism of sport for all that these sports people have done. And most importantly, the fan. It is for the fan and about the fan. For the common man, the Indian who loves sport, the woman who celebrates when an Indian athlete wins at the international stage. It is for us all. India becomes real on the sports field and that's what we celebrate. 75 glorious years.